this is manjuna chandraya today i'll be learning how to match one debit with multiple credits one credit with multiple debits getting to zero so i have a small data with the check number and the amount on column c and d let's say the check, column a we have check number one two three so when you add the one credit and there's 100 debit uh, and if you see there below there is one more 150 so when you total these three in netting to zero okay so we'll try to match uh, using a formula here so what we did in this column c is the cumulative sum per check number it gives the running total of each check number and uh, that will be added like uh, if you have 50 so this two will become 150 uh, 50 here so again the running total based on the check number the last one is the criteria where we'll get the uh, text saying that whether it is matched or not matched let's start to do this first thing what you need to do you need to sort the things here because it's see you can see company uh, check number 101 and there is a one more 102 and below this 101 so it's not in sorted so we'll start first so first sorting what we do first we'll sort the amount from smallest to largest then we'll sort the check number smallest to largest so now it has came in the order let's start in this column you can use sum if sum ifs function open bracket click on fx once you click on fx you can see the sum range sum range what you are trying to sum is the amount so you can click on this column and what you can do is do put semicolon you'll get again b12 b2 semicolon b2 so first b2 just freeze the that with the dollar sign using f4 function so once you're done criteria range so criteria is like we are trying to match based on the check number so again go to check number column a1 semicolon again the first part of the a2 just to f4 okay that is freezed so obviously the criteria criteria is criteria range is the column so criteria is nothing but the check number so check based on check number we are trying to match so what we are trying to do basically is we have freeze the first part of it the range the second part we are not uh, we, you know not freezed it because when you copy this formula down it, b2 becomes b3 b4 we need to check for each of the uh, items whether it is matching or not so that's the reason the second part of the range we are not added a dollar sign okay so now click ok so just copy the formula down so now you can see same check number the first amount was 50 so it has taken 50 the running total will be this to adding to this two will be 100 so, so it is taking the running total 100 here and the next one is 001 so this three if you add that will be net to, net to zero so the running total of that row will be zero so you can see double click so it's checking for this check number by totaling the current uh, row so if it is netting to zero it's just zero so again if you start from next it will start with the 100 because if we, if we total the full items the running total ending balance will ending balance will be 100 here that's the reason so we got the running total here cumulative total so here we'll use the function called if with abs abs is nothing but if you put abs there is a credit here it will changes to sign to positive items any negative numbers will be converted into positive here so if you drag this one there, there won't be any negative numbers so we use that function here just use if open bracket abs again select the cell close the bracket so if you have a threshold say I, the threshold of 0 0.001 if the even the difference of 0 0.001 i can consider as uh, that is matched because that 0 0.001 i can write off in future so what we can do selecting that cell c2 use less than or equal to 0 0.01 difference even the 0 0.01 difference we can exempt so that is the logical text values you can see that it's highlighted then if, if we put comma the true value if it is true if it falls under 0, 0, 001 or 0 netting to 0 so what should be your text here do any text you should start with the double quote match found okay close the double quote comma and if this criteria falls you see the value if is false so if it's false let it leave it as blank so you put two double quotes and close the bracket so now just drag this formula down now we can see these two cells 
this 3 we getting nulli nullified to 0 and here this 3 this 4 5 getting nullified to 0 based on this um, uh, the uh, check, check number 1002 similarly for this again it is nullified so you can do this to get nullified so this is open here and if you come down here again now so here you can see 1007.499 and 55 when you total it it comes to 0 0.01 so 0 0.01 threshold is we have that is find so match found so this formula is very simple and you able to find the match for multiple debit and credit based on your criteria that is check number i hope this function was helpful do let me know for any other function so that i can create a video on it thank you for your time happy learning